Hey Hiker Buddies, this is Hiker Hunter bringing you another Dolly Sods Wilderness video. We're going to be doing some summer camping here in a nice warmish June day, even though we got some pretty good winds going on. So we're going to be hiking in uh, a little bit ways and going south on us a good camping spot near some previous rivers that we've seen uh, before. So we'll go in and uh, hopefully we have a good easy relaxing day of hiking ahead of us and find a really good spot to go camping. Our camping destination was going to be just south of Blackbird Knob on the TR-514 Red Creek Trail, just around where those three rivers meet. We had been there previously on a hike and really thought it had really good water sources, really spectacular views, and really nice campgrounds, nice and flat, lots of space, and good supplies nearby, so we're really wanting to come back on a future trip. So although Dolly Sods has plenty of impromptu camping spots all around the trails, all throughout the plateau, this spot in particular with its good water sources and really good campgrounds seemed like a really good destination for us. First spin off of the day, Dobbin Grade Trail 526 on our way to our campsite. Typical Dolly Sods, hard to follow the trail here, not very well marked, and surprise, surprise, lots of uh, Saudi swamp. So just be prepared to get your feet wet and muddy. Right across the lake here, we see we're heading in the right direction. 520, head straight out to the road, so we want to continue here on 526. Onward to the campground. Just some truly unmatched scenery here at Dolly Sods. All right, after knee deep in bog, swampland, mud all over our legs for a half mile, we weren't sure we were all, all on the trail or not, which is pretty typical for this section. We have a sign here, so let's see what it says. All right, 526, we're still on the right route. 521 back, we wanted to go back towards the car, which we'll probably take on the way back to the car tomorrow, uh, because we really don't want to walk through that, that uh, swamp land back that way. So we're gonna continue on 526 towards our camp area. All right, here's our connector off of 526, 509. It should uh, loop us around by Blackbird uh, Knob. Or, uh, yonder and uh, here we go and here we are at the end of 509 we're going to take a left here at Blackbird Knob Trail 511 and take a left on 514 until we've reached those rivers and uh, then we'll be at our campsite that'll be great and we finally made it to 514 Red Creek Trail our campsite should be uh, just a little bit ahead where the rivers meet, the Pittsburgh of Dolly Sods campgrounds. So we'll be there in just a few minutes. And here we are at the campsites near the river. We think this is gonna be our campsite of choice. Really cool area, got some rocks that are set up as seats next to the campfire, which is pretty baller. Uh, nice flat area right near the trail, a little close to the trail, but is what it is in the river is right down here, which is easy access for washing, cleaning up, getting water, filtering water. So pretty happy about this area. We're gonna set up our tents here and uh, yeah, start enjoying the evening. So we actually moved one campsite down. While it doesn't have the stone seats, that's okay. We have our collapsible seats that we brought with us. Reason is a little bit easier to get to the water here. A little bit less climbing over rocks. So very happy about this. Nice, fine river right there. Gonna have a good old time. But you can see lots of campsites all around us. And we'll see if we have some company tonight. This area usually gets pretty full. Already got a couple of folks down, just uh, a few little bit campsites down. 
and uh, we passed some people that said that they were gonna be spending the night tonight here. So should be a merry old time. We'll see, uh, but we got should have some nice privacy still with some of these trees. Nice, really fine campsite area. Couldn't ask for anything better. Cleaning off of the mud from all that sod we went through from earlier. And I got my nice yellow water for some cooking and drinking tonight. Plenty of opportunity to refill. Gonna be a great night. some chicken coconut curry for dinner tonight. I think this is one of my favorite camper meals. So got them all cooked up. They should be ready to eat. We got a little kindling that we found. We didn't cut anything down. We just found some wood that other people previously had cut down. So we might have a little fire here. Morning hiker buddies. Well, we had a nice chilly night here at Dolly Sods. We're just here breaking down camp, warming up some coffee over there, and then we're gonna set out on our way back to the, the old car. Well, we finally made it to 521. So even though 526 that way is a more direct route to our vehicle, we prefer not to do knee deep in swamp today. So we're gonna see how 521 is. Hopefully it's a little bit drier. I'm sure it'll still be muddy, but hopefully not knee deep muddy. And uh, yeah, see how it is for this nice morning hike back to the car. Nice little campsite spaces along the way. And way up yonder, looks like there's a trail marker. So hopefully that's our stop to take a ride and we'll see what it says. So it looks like we uh, overshot our trail a little bit. We saw a post just a quarter mile, not even back, that did, missing a sign. So we're guessing that's the trail we want. So we are gonna head back, but so far trail's not so bad. And we're gonna say hopefully goodbye to 521 for the day and continue on to 522. Another great alternative place to camp right here on the ridge line with a great view, although not a lot of water sources, which is why we chose the other one, but we'd certainly like to come back here at this campsite at some point. Yeah, coming back 521 versus 526 was definitely the right play. And there are the vehicles. So we have successfully had a nice overnight camping trip. Uh, more than nice, it was fantastic. And uh, yeah, if you're coming down here to camp, plenty of great sights and great views. Uh, lots of change of scenery, whether you want ridgeline vistas or swampy bogs. Dolly Sods continues to have that for you. So let's get some good summer hiking and camping in, stay overnight, and uh, even a one night or multiple nights as you hike the Dolly Sods loop, every trail has some sort of make it, sh make it uh, work makeshift campsite along the way. So until next time, hiker buddies, hope you enjoyed this summertime trip at Dolly Sods. And look forward to hiking with you next time. See ya.